the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 203 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India, the Great. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Beautiful strike. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Relax. All right, single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Cooks. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now. Because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Joy gets touched by that kick there. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA fall and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Nice strike. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. And he caught the kick. Just misses there with the left. There's no give on that leg kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. And they separate. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Game of inches right there. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. He's trying to double up on that jab. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. That shot blocked by Choi. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Oh, that's a good strike there by Choi. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, really using his reach 
advantage there with that land, DC. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like a dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, he talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Joy's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Big power shot there. Whiffs on that offering. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, nice jab counter for him there. All right, there's the clap for 10 seconds to go. Bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. You're still here right now. This next round, we're gonna All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets ended. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Nice kick. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh. series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Boy, Ty Plum. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it so much more. He can't take any of those kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Just over three minutes to go in round two. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Nice punch lands over the top. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Throwing that jab, no good. And they separate. Oh, 
look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Right punches there. Big head kick lands. Connects with a right. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice punch lands over the top. Over and over, he lands big body kicks. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush names. Oh, that right hand is on point. Turns his hip over when he throws that kick. We need that take down. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow around the guard. They continue to exchange. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on him. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect, and that one landed perfect. What a fight so far. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut, and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this Ready? round. Ready? Here we go. Five minutes remain in the fight. Try to establish that jab. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, he's so educated, he's so able to fight for both fighters. Doubles up on the jab. Big head kick lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Uh, big punch. Uh, uh, kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. Now he's got hurt bad. Takedown defense holds up. Right hand punch with the clinch. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike he's very effectively. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Choi's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Oh, big punch land. Both fighters throwing heat now. Pretty good right hand. Oh, collar tie. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching. Oh, oh, oh. This fight's gonna be over this What a great way of mixing up his attack. Huh? He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. He's back in the corner.
clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big and kick. So there it is, longer reach, paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish. for certain the finish could come at any time. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves. So freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, he gets up again here, but he will. Look, 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 shot right on the button. Shot that is the most debilitating shot in all of fighting. It is very difficult to recover from that. There's no tell on that leg kick. Collar tie there. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Able to check the high kick. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Another clinch position. Joy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Nice head kick. Just out of range with that strike. Take a deep breath. 15 seconds remain in the round. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. He got it! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Well, and that's the type of aggressiveness and execution that is going to endear you to UFC President Dana White, to the matchmakers. Make sure you keep it out of the judges' hands, and that's exactly what he did here tonight. A huge shot landed clean. Clearly, his opponent was hurt very badly, and ultimately, the finish came right then and there. Outstanding execution down the stretch tonight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 49 seconds of round number three, declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean.